I just rolled out of my bed here at my hotel outside of the town of Hall, Austria, and I'm gonna go check outside, see if the weather's good for a little photography this morning. Yeah, I think that'll do. I think I must still be a little bit jet lagged because I didn't sleep last night. Just could not fall asleep for the life of me. And the craziest part is during the conference I probably only slept three or four hours a night so I was tired. I've come to the outside of my hotel because they have this like beautiful little pond down here that's all set up. And as you can see, look at this reflection. I hope you can see that. The reflection is crazy with a huge mountain behind me and the hotel's actually a really beautiful building. So I decided that I want to photograph this this morning. And if things go well, the sun should come up through that valley and light up these peaks. So we should get this beautiful alpen glow on this peak here with a nice dusting of snow, the reflection, the hotel, and I think it's gonna be beautiful. I'm gonna bust out my camera gear right now and take a picture as it is because it's already beautiful in this blue light glow. And then hopefully, as my voice cracks, hopefully the light punches through and we get beautiful skies. That was the perfect way to start the morning. Nothing like a little bit of photography and some beautiful Alpenglow to put you in a good mood to start the day even if you didn't sleep. I didn't share the camera settings with you guys because it was really simple. It was just a three stop soft grad ND and then I shot like F11 for all of that with shutter speeds between two seconds and a half seconds. So no ND filters other than the grad and this location is so awesome. You remember that church I photographed on yesterday's video? It actually peaks just above this, um, this, uh, this hotel. And I think that maybe tomorrow for sunrise, I'll go back and photograph that cathedral because that's gonna be a really spectacular image with this Alpen glow. But yeah, that's a pretty good way to start the day. In case you guys are curious, this hotel is called Speckbockerhof. I think that's how you pronounce it. No rule number two of this channel. You can't make fun of how I pronounce things. You also can't make fun of how messy my room is. That's rule number one of this channel. Now guys, I've teamed up this month with my friends at Trover. Now, if you don't know of Trover, Trover's this awesome app and website that's all about photo discovery. So basically within the app or within the website, it grabs your location and then it kind of just shows you all the cool stuff around you to photograph in photo form. So it's actually a really good photography location scouting tool. And it's something I use quite a bit. And this month they're giving away $1,500. There's a $1,500 prize. So if you're not a part of Trover, click on the link that I have in the description to this video, head over there and sign up and enter this contest. Since you guys are all photo pros on this community and that watch this channel, I know somebody from our group, somebody from this community is gonna win the prize this month. We're about to set off on the first excursion today. I'm doing that post-conference tour still, and we're heading to the Savarsky, <laughs> Savarsky um, uh, Crystal Palace, Crystal something. It's supposed to be cool, it's, so I'm excited. Let's jump in the van and go to places I can't pronounce.
So we're at the Swavarsky, <laughs> Swavarsky, 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 I think maybe. Um, there's like the factory there where they, I guess, process the crystals, cut the crystals. I really don't understand any of that stuff. But they have like this really cool, maybe open air art museum. And uh, yeah, it looks really cool. Like there's this giant face carved from a hedge. Apparently inside there's like these 16 wonders of something so i don't know it actually looks really cool there's a they call it the crystal varken <laughs> a cloud crystal as well over that way so we're gonna check this place out um i have my camera gear with me it's bright blue skies and i don't know if i'll take a picture but we're gonna explore anyway <laughs> Before I say this, I'm not much of like a museum guy. I'm not much of an art guy. So an art museum to me sometimes, sometimes I go a little bit faster than the group. But I will say that I actually really love this. And if I had a little bit more time, I think there's actually a lot of really cool photos to be made in a place like this. He's so I was gonna wear this exact same outfit today. So glad I didn't. That would have been so embarrassing. As I said earlier, the museum was really cool, really interesting. Kind of almost a ridiculous display of wealth with all that crystal and all that, yeah. Um, and now we're here at the Crystal Cloud Forest and it's really cool. Photographers are always complaining about blue skies. And I think this is the one place in the world I'd actually like to have blue skies to photograph because I think the sun coming in it just like sparkles it all. And I mean, it's its own clouds. So I'm actually gonna pull the camera out here and get a shot or two. So I think the photos came out pretty cool there. And everybody's all like art, museums, and then somebody mentioned there's a playhouse here. And I'm like, that's definitely more my style. Playhouse. I'm too old for this. That playhouse was way too much fun. Well, I'm such a big child. <laughs> um, now we're heading into the town of Hall, I think, to the old town and getting a bit of a tour, maybe some free time to wander around. Walking into the old town of Hall right now, I mentioned on yesterday's show that these tours, like these 
conference tours these press trip sort of things are always so hard as a travel photographer because things are always organized in the middle of the day and you see all this cool stuff like this beautiful street here in hall in the middle of the day and it's always a bit of a struggle as a photographer who wants to be at places like this for sunrise and sunset and um, we're eating at sunrise and sunset usually so a bit of a struggle but it's also kind of nice to not really worry about shooting as many photos and just exploring and wandering so that's what I'm gonna do right now I really love little towns like this and it's super cool because there's no tourists except for us here. We literally seem to have this place all to ourselves, except for of course the locals and it's a beautiful setting. You've got the town, the cathedral and then it's like hemmed in with these massive snow capped peaks in all directions which is super cool. It's sunset right now, so naturally it's dinner time. <laughs> I'm gonna grab some food. Blue skies anyway. Back home, had a good dinner and actually a really, really good day. I complained a lot this video, I think, about not being able to shoot. And it's because on press trips like this, you're in these incredible, beautiful places and us photographers, we're like desperate to photograph everything. And sometimes you just need to like just chill out and not take pictures and enjoy the food, enjoy like the locations and enjoy the travel aspect of the career as well. One of the great things about these press trips is they give you like some ideas of places you want to come back to and explore. I want to come back here, but I want to do it like up in the hills. There's all these huts, these mountain huts. I want to do like all this hiking between the mountain huts. I think that would be an awesome like six or seven day trip. So maybe we'll do that next spring or fall, who knows, but yeah, definitely loving it here. And I'm looking forward to some sleep tonight. It's four nights in a row now that have slept less than four hours each night. So I'm looking forward to this full seven hours sleep tonight. And hopefully this little jet lag I've got kicking around still finally goes away. And I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow morning for another sunrise shoot. I'll see you there. Peace. Bye-bye, <laughs> <laughs>